Hi everyone, this is Imran. Today in this video training, I'll be showing you how you can add image hover effect in your WordPress website using an Elementor add-on. Okay, let me show you what we are going to do. If I hover over this image, you can see nice hover effect. You can add title, you can add description, and you can also add an icon. And surprisingly, you can add link to the images. Okay. For example, if I click on this image, it sends me to this website. Okay, friends. I'm going to do this job using a free plugin. Here is the plugin. I'm going to do this job in three basic steps. Firstly, I will install this plugin. And secondly, I'll add images to the page and finally I'll design it. So let's get to be started. Here I'm on the dashboard of my WordPress website and you can see I have already installed Elementor plugin and I'm going to install this plugin. I'm going to get the name. I'm going to navigate to plugins and click on add new. Here, I'm going to search for the plugin. And here goes our expected plugin. Image hover effects, Elementor add-on. Just click on install now button. Click activate. Okay, here you can see the plugin is installed and activated. Okay. To add a gallery like this with image hover effect I will have to go to a page here you can see pages I'm going to go to all pages and you can create a new page or you can start with any existing page here you can see I have a page called portfolio if I view it okay shows nothing so i'm going to edit this page and click here edit with elementor okay here is the elementor page builder interface what i'm going to do i'm going to create a section to create a section you will have to click this plus sign and i'm going to add a one column section and here you can see a plus sign I'm going to add title. I'm going to bring it to center and I'm going to go to advance. Unlink it and add 60 pixel on bottom. Okay. Again, click on here. Get this text editor and you can add your own text just go to a style and bring it to center that's fine and i'm going to add another section just click on here and click on this pattern or structure three column row okay here it is and here you can see plus sign that means you can add any widget here if I click on the plus sign, the widget search option will open up and I'm going to search for image hover. Here it is. And you will get it if you successfully install this plugin. Okay. Just grab it, drag and drop here. Okay. So here you can see you can choose image. You can change the hover effect the first one is fade in slide up push up we have used push up here we can see fold left perfect shutter in vertical okay lots of effects so you can select the one you like most i'm going to select push down okay 
fine and from here i'm going to change the image just uh, okay i'm going to select this image and click insert media okay here it is so i have added the image and size is full you can just select the size you would you would prefer and title so i'm going to add this title okay i'm going to add title here and title tag is 3 or is 2 and add description here i'm going to add description okay now add an icon okay this one click insert and icon position after or before and add link okay here you will be able to add link i'm going to add link of my website and click on this gear icon and here you can see add some option open in a new window or new tab okay so that's all for content setting now let's move on to a style from here we are going to change this background color i would like to start with this color whatever click over here to change the color now you see the color is changed okay you can add padding add border radius and you can change the title color okay if you want say for example you would like to black color for title and title is black you can also change the description color individually okay and icon color and icon size you can increase the icon size okay but i prefer the default values okay white white color okay so i could show you how you can easily change the style of each element on advance you can add margin padding etc okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to duplicate this just click on here on the pencil icon and click copy and come over here and click right click on it and click paste and you can see and right click and paste okay and now i'm going to click over here on the edit and click duplicate so it perfectly duplicated all the images now it's time to individually change all the images so i'm going to click on here and now change image now this one so images changed and now go to a style and change the color this time i'm using this color and you can change the color for respective elements okay and if you go to the content then you can change the title say for example it's title 2 here you can see 2 fine and go to the next one same process for each and every images not only the background color you can also change the effect for each image for like it's push down and you can add push up for this one push up push down push up and you can add slide down or anything else hinge up okay hinge up and what i would like to say that you can 
just uh, change the background color text color effects for each of them okay once you are done click update and click preview okay here goes it and if i would like to see what happens or how it looks on mobile screen just click on here and it's perfect responsive that's fine so friends i could show you how you can easily create a gallery like this thank you for watching i hope you liked this video and uh, don't forget to like it share it and subscribe to my channel for upcoming new videos thank you for watching